Welcome to LeanCore. If you are a first-time user, this video will help you get up and running using the LeanCore project boards. When you first open LeanCore from the tab at the top of the screen, you'll be presented with a summary of all the work items that have been assigned to you. It shows me items that are overdue, due today, later this week, and afterwards. When LeanCore is first installed, there is included a basic, simple folder and a project with a project board, and one item is installed and it's due today, sample card. Clicking once gives me the name of the card. If I double click on this, it will open up the board and highlight for me the card that is due today. Before we get into the intricacies of using the actual project boards, let's talk about the folder structure within LeanCore. On the left-hand side, I have my folder navigation menu, and there's a simple slider bar for me to open and close this menu. When the menu is open, it's going to show me all the folders that are in my LeanCore system, and then within each folder, all of the projects and then project boards. Right now, there's only one folder installed, sample folder. Let's go ahead and add a new folder. Click on the plus sign, and I'll type in the name of the new folder. Now I can go into this folder and add a new project to it. And when I go into the actual project, it changes the menu to show me all the boards that are in that project. Right now, there's no project boards. I'll go ahead and add one. Click on Create Kanban Board. And this now gives me my first brand new board within LeanCore. When I want to add cards to this board, I simply come down to the plus sign on the bottom and it allows me a number of components to the board. I can add text items, I can drag in reports, I can add images, I can add cards, and I can add stickers to the board. Let's start with adding a card to the board. Click and drag it to whatever column I want the card to appear in. I'll go ahead and put it right into the in progress column. And it now opens up for me the dialog of all the information that I can enter in this card. I can change the category of the card. We'll make this a marketing card. I can also add in a description. And I can change who the card is assigned to. I can change the due dates. I'll push this out. I'll make the start date. On Monday and I will change it to a five-day card. I click on create and there we go. Now my card is created. It shows me the category that I selected, marketing, the name of the card, and if I hover over this it will show me the long description as well. It shows me the card is due to be completed on September 23rd and it's five days in duration. What if I want to change the structure of the board? It's quite simple to do. There's an edit board icon on the top left of the screen. I click on this, it now allows me to go in and change the name of any of the columns. So if I want to change uh, in progress, and I can also add new columns and new swim lanes to the board. So let's say I want to add a new swim lane, I'll click on the plus sign here, and I can give my swim lane, new swim lane a name. And I'll change the swim lane at the top. If I want to add a new column to my board, I simply come up to the top right where it says new, click once on that, and it now gives me an opportunity to add, we call columns master containers. I can specify the name of the master container. I can even give it a different uh, color scheme and click create and it will always create the new master container on the far right but I want to move this over before done column so I just click on the little arrows on either side to move the master containers left or right. Now when I go back to board I'll see my revised project board, backlog, working on, review and approve, distribute, 
done an archive. Very easy to modify the structure of your board in this fashion. So that's a quick introduction to getting started with LeanCore. There are many other videos available on the LeanCore YouTube channel, particularly in the playlist Easy How To Guides, where we'll show additional functions and features of LeanCore in short two to three minute videos. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks very much for watching.